Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Tuesday, August 1st, 2023. Well, I apologize. Yesterday I wasn't available, um, just some circumstances with my wife's mother in law. Um, we weren't, I was not available all day yesterday. As a matter of fact, you might hear it in my voice. I haven't had a whole lot of sleep for three days, but um, we're going to get through this. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who um, has been sending well wishes and uh, comments uh, to me uh, about my mother in law. I do truly, truly appreciate it. So, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, yesterday we had a nice little push to the upside here in the diamonds, but as you'll notice, we didn't quite break the highs. So still setting up here and still extremely extended um, in this chart on the short term move, but we are getting a little bit more of that consolidation type look in the chart. You know, if we take a look at our moving averages here on the diamonds, we are really stretched away from that 50 day moving average. So it wouldn't be any kind of a surprise if we do pull back at any time, but right now it's all bulls all the time and we are certainly inspired by earnings, even when our our earnings are a little bit odd. When we take a look at BP this morning, BP gapping higher here this morning, though they posted a 70% drop in second quarter earnings. But by golly, they figured out how to raise the dividend by 10%. So that's a reason to buy the stock up. We've got HSBC uh, reporting here this morning and their profit more than doubled and they're going to do a $2 billion share buyback. And of course, that means we should pop and drop in the pre-market here. Um, some very odd things going on here um, in this market as this wild enthusiasm continues to press us higher and higher, really despite what happens in an earnings report. Now, let's take a look and see if we can figure out what would happen if the bulls find um, inspiration today. Well, um, you know, we're pushing this pretty substantial resistance here in the diamonds. And if we can continue to push, I would say there is a little bit, there's a little tiny, tiny area of potential price resistance right in there. But I think probably the bigger area of price resistance would be right up here. And that pushes us up into that 360 area on the diamonds. If the bears were to find inspiration here for today, well, I'm going to suggest that we continue to look at the bottom of that big, ugly, bearish engulfing candle that came in. Um, watch that closely uh, for a test of that support. And if that were to break, well, you can see there'd be a pretty painful pullback if that were to occur. And I'm suggesting maybe all the way back down into here as a possibility. Taking a look at the SPY, SPY, doing a little bit of a consolidating dance after that big old bearish engulfing candle came into play. And I'm going to continue to place that resistance in the chart up here, right around that red line area in the chart. So if the bulls find inspiration and push up into here, watch for a little bit of price resistance. If they can push through that area 360, maybe we push right up into this area here, just a slightly bit higher, checking that resistance in the chart somewhere up there around 464, 465 area of the SPY. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, once again, I'm gonna place that big old bearish candle here in this little price support in the area as the place we would test first. And if that holds, no harm, no foul. But if we were to miss right in there and push on lower, then I would suggest um, maybe a little bit further down right into this area of the chart. And remember guys, even with these substantial pullbacks, there is nothing wrong with this chart. That would continue to be a bullish trend and would relieve some of the overbought pressure here in the market. If we take a look at our um, Q 
QQQ or QQQ also kind of resting in here. We've um, had a little bit more of a healthy rest here in the QQQ and a very bullish rest as you can see looking across here um, we've got a little bit of consolidation the last couple of days resting in here just a little bit so if the bulls continue to push and find inspiration here in the tech sector then i would look up here for that next resistance layer in the chart and pushing through there you can see it's going to be pretty hard push with all of this resistance up here but perhaps maybe to test the underside of um, some of those topping patterns here in the QQQ. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, then I'm gonna suggest we push back down here to test these lows in that chart, just resting back out here toward this trend. If this were to break right through here, then maybe a little bit more concern comes into the market. But just keep in mind, this is a very, very bullish QQQ chart, and we'd have a lot of uh, pain if we were to pull just back to the 50-day moving average, um, which doesn't seem to be likely at this point. Uh, the bulls are in control, and they are running hard here. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM also very, very bullish yesterday, stretching up, breaking out of resistance here in the chart. And I had suggested if they were able to do that, we'd test this resistance high right here. So watch that closely today to see if we can push on through that level. Because if we do push on through that level, I'm gonna suggest we come up into here on um, IWM. And this is a good hold, finally a hold of that breakout of that uh, downtrend area in the chart. So we held in here despite that bearish engulfing candle and reversed and went right back up here in the chart. So watch that closely. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, I'm gonna suggest that we push back, maybe test the top side of that support level here in the chart on any bearishness. And if that were to fail, then of course, we're probably back down here looking at that bottom side of that chart. Now here again, our IWM very strongly stretched away from that 50 day moving average and probably needs a bit more rest. But with all of the enthusiasm on these earnings and the hype that's going on, we're just really pumping and pumping and pumping to the upside. If we continue to look um, at our VIX, well, you can see our VIX had got a little bit fearful there um, on that bearish engulfing candle last week. You can see we've pulled that all the way back. But what's interesting is as we're going on higher, we're not seeing a whole lot of change here in the VIX. We're not pushing down through this price support. So if those bulls really find inspiration, we need to break this support low here in the chart. And again, we're in that area of complacency in the market. If the bulls find inspiration, excuse me, the bears find inspiration, remember the real test here is going to be whether we can break that downtrend and hold a higher low. So far, not been the case and not been any uh, concern of that um, at the moment. If we take a look at our uh, T2122. Now our T2122 continues to show us that we are very overbought in the short term. We have lingered and lingered and lingered up here. And as we continue to roll out a massive amount of earnings reports, we're getting that inspiration to continue to chase and to buy and rush into trades. So watch that carefully. We are all kinds of set up if we stumble. There may be some reason for that, for a little bit of stumble. If you saw last night, China reported its fourth straight quarter of contraction. And there really is a concern that China may be going going into not um, a recession, but actually deflation. So watch that carefully. If that um, um, exports here to the United States, that is one of the worst things that can happen to a, an economy, in my opinion, and could be pretty painful for the market if that were to occur. So far, no one seems to be too terribly worried about it. In fact, China um, was mostly higher yesterday on that report, uh, but there was some mix. Now, saying that, European markets are all in the red looking, in fact, decidedly uh, bearish here this morning. Uh, 
Um, so watching that carefully in, in the Eurozone has their manufacturing also slumping um, as well. So bit of a problem over there in Europe. And here in the U.S., we have been down, the Dow futures were down over 100 points earlier on this morning. And now that earnings are rolling out, we're pumping it right back up. So we're only down about 50 points in the Dow at the moment. So keep an eye on this. If we continue to find that bullishness, just remember there's not a whole lot of upside uh, potential here in uh, T2122, but we certainly have a big downside potential if we find some reason to stumble. We saw in that big bearish engulfing candle that came in last week just how quickly that sentiment can turn ugly. And if we start to go south, everyone runs for the door at the same time and we can get those big price moves. So watch carefully, make sure you're raising your stop losses, make sure you're not over trading this just in case that were to occur. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108 also, Pushing back up into the resistance level of the chart, we're up here again in that pretty rarefied air, up here at 72% um, uh, percent of the stocks above their 40-day uh, moving average. Now kind of keeping in mind that that's still a very, very bullish chart. And there's no reason or nothing in this chart that suggests all that much bearishness except the fact that we're reaching a very overbought condition here in the markets. Like everyone is in all of a sudden. We're just all piled into the market like there can never be a downside. And that's usually when the really big downside can begin. I don't know when it's going to start, but let's watch carefully for that possibility that it could. And then if we take a look at our T2107, same situation here, pushing back up toward resistance, 61% of the stocks above their 200 day. Remember, up in this range, we are very, very overbought. And uh, typically we see when, when the selling starts, it, it, it can be pretty harsh. So watch carefully for that. And then our T2101, well, T2101 is finally hooking down here. A uh, little hook on that yesterday, suggesting maybe that breadth might come up in the market. And what might increase that breadth would be the sell side. If those bears were to come in, we would probably see a spike in volume as a result. So watch that closely here in the market if the bears find any inspiration at all. And where could they find some of that inspiration? Well, um, you know, it's interesting to me that we continue to ignore anything over here. Our Chicago PMI came in um, uh, with a little improvement, but still still showing contraction overall in the economy. Dallas Fed manufacturing continues to come in at a very ugly bearish situation here, and we just don't care. Um, we just want to pump on the earnings reports. And if you take a look today, we've got a few um, earnings that or uh, economic numbers that could um, cause some issues for us, um, either bullish or bearish. Uh, we've got a PMI manufacturing final number, and then of course the bigger one, the ISM number tomorrow. So keep an eye on that. Construction spinning, and then that job openings report. Of course, this continues to be a bit problematic for us. It is easing up a little bit, but certainly not showing us what the Fed wants to see in those major declines in um, employment to bring uh, that jobs market back into balance. So watch that closely. As you plan forward, remember we're going to have ADP coming out here on Tuesday, or excuse me, on Wednesday. Treasury refunding statement, petroleum status, of course those motor vehicle sales and uh, mortgage applications. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for, to oh, excuse me, we probably better take a look at the earnings calendar for today. Now for the earnings, uh, what I did today, and you're going to have to give me just a second here, I made a mistake. Hold on. Here we go. Here's our earnings um, notables for this morning that I wrote out. There will not be a blog today. Um, just haven't had the time uh, to do that with everything I've got on my plate. So please forgive me for that. 
um, but to uh, make sure that you guys uh, are paying attention to those earnings then here's the list of notables that I came up with for today. You might want to be watching that closely. Um, uh, Aflac, AMD, we've got Altria reporting, AIG is reporting, Caterpillar's in there, we've got Denny's, um, EA Sports will be in there today. So quite a few potential notables that could move us around here a bit. Um, so watch that closely. So pause this. You can take a screenshot of those notables for today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And let's keep in mind, guys, that um, these stocks are not any recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence and be thinking very, very carefully about the risk of these trades, making sure that you are following your risk guidelines and your um, trading rules so that you don't get yourself caught in uh, some bad situations. Always be reviewing too the earnings report date on these calendars because it's easy to buy a good buy pattern or a good signal in a chart and happen to be jumping in right before an earnings report that can be pretty disappointing at the end. Before I show you those here really quick though guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that um, subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up she'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that favor and that would be click the thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that I do truly appreciate it and thank you for your patience as we work through these um, um, pretty challenging time here particularly for my wife as her mother is um, struggling with a um, well a terminal um, health issue so thank you for being so kind um, and all of those kind um, uh, so, yeah, well wishes and, and everything in, in the video I do truly truly appreciate it and uh, thank you to everyone who shares these videos out on their social media feed and continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video well let's take a look at a few of these charts that could be setting up remember guys these are not recommendations but um, I gotta tell you I, I'm really liking the way Starbucks is setting up here there's been a little bit of volatility in it and I've been watching this pretty closely now there is a little concern here we all also have this possibility that this might be setting up a um, head and shoulders pattern but with this report uh, coming in today we might want to watch that closely um, here probably don't want to be buying it just now but after um, um, an earnings report if that sets up a nice pattern I'd be watching that one close take a look at DKNG this one continues to set up in this chart nice little resting consolidation coming out here to trend it's one of my favorite patterns to be watching for because it's a relatively low risk entry on that trade unfortunately it's going to report on 8.3 so I'd be a little bit careful with it but we have a nice potential pattern in here setting up take uh, continue to keep an eye on PayPal PayPal stretched up here nicely yesterday pushing into this next level of price resistance if you got into that trade congratulations um, watch that close though it's going to report on 8.2 what I think I would be watching for at this point is if it breaks through that resistance up there and holds then I'd be looking for that next opportunity to the upside here. Um, boy, retail continues to stretch on out here and look really good. Kohl's, as you know, I was talking about this potential trade last week and popped through here, um, moving on up strongly here to the upside. Any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity in Kohl's. Still a little bit of time before it reaches that earnings out there in on 817 so watch that speaking of these kind of charts um, retail charts uh, very bullish here on GPS as you guys know I was mentioning this for that potential break to watch for that breaking through that resistance now to the upside so any rest or pullback in here to maintain this trend would set up the next opportunity I think in that chart it's going to report on 824 um, as you guys know I've been 
been keeping a pretty close eye on some of these oil sector stocks. Um, um, OXY, this is my original alert in here that's moving up nicely. Any rest in here that just consolidates this and lowers that risk to your stop loss may be that next opportunity to be watching OXY to the upside. And that is despite the fact that we have seen um, that, that concern out of China that we might be experiencing um, a bit of deflationary situation coming in there in China. Um, we're still pressing these um, oil sector stocks higher. So watch that carefully. There's a lot of these out here that look really good. APA moving to the upside nicely. Any rest or pullback would be an opportunity. Conoco Phillips looking good. We saw mentioned this BP report where they lost, you know, their revenues or excuse me, their um, uh, profits were down 70 percent. But nobody cares. We're still pushing it to the upside. So watch that closely in here as we move in this upside trend. Any rest or pullback in here may set up more upside in BP. Take a look at um, UNG. Now UNG has been working. I'm sorry, that's a two-day chart. UNG has been working uh, to build this um, nice little rectangle base in here. Broke that little downtrend. We're still trying to hold in this chart. And notice we're coming out here toward this trend. So I would. Be be watching this to see if that can pop on through. Keep a close eye on that. It's going to really be very important to watch what happens with the US dollar. If the dollar continues to strengthen like this, that could be a bit of a problem for anything commodity and that includes oil. So watch that closely as we're ripping right back up. Very, very volatile on the dollar here as we continue to see those uh, pesky bond yields um, hold up pretty strongly. So watch that closely. And then, of course, we've got all that fluctuation going on because of some dynamics going on in Japan and uh, things that they're doing with their yields and dollar. Um, so just keep a close eye on that. We're seeing quite a little bit of currency fluctuation right now. So with that, guys, if you don't mind, I'm going to cut this short here. Um, we've already got 22 minutes in it. Thank you so much for all of the kind support and everything that you guys have, have provided me. I truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all the very, very best of today. Great profits, and I'll see you right back here bright and early. Wednesday morning. Wishing you all the best.